like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze us. From landscapes that look like something out of fairy tales, to animals and insects that are nothing less than monsters from our nightmares, the possibilities are endless. And since there is no end to the surprises, some of the things that will happen within nature are too weird to be ignored. That's where animal mutations come in. Mutations are absolutely necessary for the evolution of a species. However, some significant mutations can end up being detrimental to the existence of an individual. On the other hand, however, some mutations are subtle, like albino animals. Anyways, without further ado, here are 10 shocking animal mutations that we have randomly selected to give you your daily dose of amazing facts. Let's go! Number 10. Henry the Hexapus Henry, an octopus at Blackpool Sea Life, a British aquarium, has six tentacles. He was caught off the coast of Wales and was transferred to a local zoo where he was picked up along with seven other octopuses by Blackpool Sea Life. His mutation was only discovered when he attached himself to a glass tank in the aquarium. Octopuses are capable of regrowing their tentacles, if they ever get cut off, but Henry did not have any spaces in between his tentacles to allow more regrow, so the possibility of his tentacles have been cut off is ruled out. The workers at Blackpool Sea Life searched the internet and spoke with several other aquariums, but none had any record of a six-tentacled octopus, making Henry the first hexapus to be documented. He is not a new species, but a product of a genetic mutation. Technically, he is known as a lesser octopus. Though the name Henry was chosen because it alliterates with hexapus, there are rumors that he was named after King Henry VIII, who married six wives, even though he could have married eight. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Octogoat When Zoran Paparic, a farmer in Kuchieva, Croatia, saw that one of the kids his goat Sarka had given birth to, he had to call a neighbor to help confirm that he wasn't going crazy. The kid had eight legs and both male and female organs. Local veterinarians believe that the goat, named Octogoat, absorbed its underdeveloped twin while still in the womb. Octogoat was born with two other kids, which were normal. Its mother, which Zoran had known for four years, had also given birth to normal triplets on four different occasions. With its eight legs, Octogoat did not have the strength to stand and couldn't walk, proving that eight legs aren't always better than four. It was believed that Octogoat wouldn't survive the first week after birth and, even if it did, it was unlikely to live for more than two or three years. Zoran said he would make Octogoat his pet if it survived. The goat's current state is unknown. Number 8. The Two-Legged Dog At birth, Faith suffered from a brain defect which didn't allow the full development of her front legs. She couldn't walk and she had been rejected by her mother, a homeless dog which had tried to kill her. She was found by 17-year-old Reuben Springfellow, who gave her to his mother. Her two front legs later began to weaken and had to be amputated. Left with only two hind legs, Faith was taught how to stand, walk, and hop and run. Today, Faith walks on her hind legs just like a human being. She has met with several celebrities and has even appeared on The Oprah Show. She has visited several military bases and hospitals where she serves as a form of encouragement for injured soldiers and veterans. She has even made an honorary sergeant in the U.S. Army and was considered for a role in the fourth Harry Potter movie, The Goblet of Fire. Number 7. We, the two-headed albino rat snake. Black rat snakes are usually all black except for their chins, which are white. But one black rat snake called We isn't black, it's an albino. It also has two heads, and both male and female organs. We was purchased by the World Aquarium in St. Louis from its owner for $15,000 when it was just a few weeks old, back in 1999. We was visited by more than a million people over the years before its death at the age of eight. The two-headed snake would often try to move in two different directions at the same time. The World Aquarium also tried breeding it with another two-headed snake, but was unsuccessful. 
The snake hit international fame in 2006 when the World Aquarium tried to auction it off for $150,000. The auction was unsuccessful, but we was adopted by Nutra Pharma, a biotechnology company which was into the production of drugs for HIV and multiple sclerosis. Two-headed snakes generally have a very low survival rate in the wild. The two heads were known to fight each other for food and in some cases will even attempt to eat one another. Only one two-headed black snake was known to have lived for 20 years. Number 6. Froggy, the three-headed frog. While mutant frogs are not totally unheard of, one with three heads is still incredibly rare. A mutant frog with three heads and six legs was found in the Garden of Green Umbrella Nursery in the UK in 2004. The discovery was made by a student who had just been dropped at the nursery on a Thursday morning. The students at the nursery initially thought the three frogs were cuddling each other, but were surprised when it turned out to be all one frog. School staff captured the frog and put it in a tank. By Friday morning, the frog was been discovered escaped. Froggy's eyes and legs seem to function normally, but it is unknown whether its three mouths were fully functional. A professor of biology at Open University said that although mutant frogs have been reported for about 200 years, one with three heads and six legs is completely unheard of. The mutation could be due to parasites, pollution, or genetic mutations. Some people believe that the mutation is an after-effect of the decommissioned Hinkley nuclear power station which is 19 kilometers or about 12 miles away from the Green Umbrella Nursery. Number 5. Squittens Squittens, from the two words squirrel and kitten, were once thought of a product of a squirrel and a cat. This is because they have short front paws and usually have to stand on their hind legs like squirrels. In reality, they're cats who are affected by a mutation called radiohypopalasia, or RH, which stops their front paws from fully being developed. In mild cases of RH, the cats still make the use of their front paws and just hop like rabbits. In moderate cases, they hunt with their hind legs and may even use their tails to balance, just like kangaroos. In severe cases of RH, they move entirely with their hind legs and look like squirrels when standing upright. They're even sometimes called dinosaur cats or kangaroo cats. Squittens encounter problems with climbing, particularly when coming out of trees. They also have problems when descending from stairs, and some have even observed descending backwards. One squitten called Kanga was born along with three other normal kittens. She also suffers from megaesophagus, which requires her to eat a special diet while standing upright because she had difficulty swallowing. Another is Petal, who lives with her adopted owner in New Yorkshire, England, along with another squidden named Honey. Number 4. Rudy, the Two-Headed Pig A pig called Rudy has two heads, two snouts, two ears, and three eyes. The middle eye, which where two heads meet, is blind. It was purchased from the owner for $5,000 by Anime Rescue Group's Pigs Without Partners, who renamed it Ditto. Only one of Ditto's snouts was functional and had to wear a little helmet in case it fell over. Its whole life, Ditto had problems walking and had to use a special walker to get around. It only began learning how to use its front legs when it died in 1998, just two months after getting to pigs without partners. Before its death, it had become unstable and had a habit of falling onto its left side. Its face was preserved to help research facial deformities in children. A pig with a similar condition was born in Zhiyang, China, in 2003. Number 3. Kenny, the White Tiger Kenny was a white tiger who was rescued along with his brother, Willie, a normal orange-coated tiger, by Turpentine Creek Wildlife Reserve in Arkansas in 2000. Kenny was mentally disabled and had a deformed face which prevented him from shutting his mouth properly. Willie, on the other hand, was cross-eyed. Kenny and Willie's parents are siblings who were made to mate by a breeder who hoped to get a white tiger. The breeder later gave up on the two brothers after he encountered difficulties selling them due to their deformities. White tigers don't exist naturally. The only way to produce them is by breeding closely related tigers through generations until the right mutation occurs. Most of them are born with health problems and physical deformities. The gene that causes their coats to become white also causes their optic nerve to become connected to the wrong side of the brain, 
making all white tigers cross-eyed. They also suffer from cleft palates, club feet, immune deficiency, and deformities in their spine and organs. In fact, most white tigers are stillborn, and those who aren't typically die early. Kenny died from cancer in 2008. Get ready for today's top pick. At number 2, polydactyl cats. Polydactylism is when an animal has more than the normal number of toes. It is most common in cats, which normally have five toes in each of their front paws and four on the back. Polydactyl cats, however, have more than that. Jake, a male tabby cat from Canada, is recognized as the cat with the most toes. He has a whopping 28 toes, seven on each foot. Polydactylism, which means many-fingered, is more common along cats in England, Wales, Eastern United States, and Canada than anywhere else in the world. They were popularized by farmer writer Ernest Hemingway and are sometimes called Hemingway cats. They are sometimes called snowshoe paws or pancake feet because their active toes make them appear have a bigger foot. As many as 30 out of the 60 cats currently living in Hemingway's estate are polydactyl. President Theodore Roosevelt also had one called slippers. Unlike many other mutations, polydactylism is an advantage. People generally love to look at polydactyl cats, and cats have been known to use their extra toes to open windows and latches. Number 1. Frank and Louie, the Two-Faced Cat Frank and Louie is the name of a cat with one head, two faces, and three eyes. They have a mutation called diprosopia, or cranial facial duplication, a very rare type of mutation that causes an animal or a human being to have two faces on one head. Cats affected with this mutation are also known as Janus cats, after Janus, the Roman god of transitions, gates, and doorways, who is depicted as having two faces. Though dysrosopia has often been recorded in cats, most don't live past a couple of days. Frank and Louie, though, turned 12 years old on September 8, 2011, earning them a place in the Guinness World Book of Records as the world's oldest Janus cat. They are owned by Marty Stevens, a veterinary clinic who adopted them after the owner brought them into the clinic where she worked to have them euthanized. The cats have one brain, and their middle eye, which is the biggest eye, doesn't function. They eat using Frank's face, since Louie's face doesn't have a lower jaw and is not connected to their esophagus. Thank you so much for watching today's video, we hope that you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for some more great content.